okay <clears throat> so every operating system they had their own transport protocols their own addressing schemes finally they all came down to one tcp and ip address so your journey into networking starts with address see now <laughs> i told you it's simple common sense systems will behave like human beings good human beings say say this image you can equate this room to a network if somebody from this particular place wants to send a courier or something to this place a letter or something you need a postman or a courier guy right either a postman or a courier guy delivery guy has to take these things to the other place only if they have a from address or a to address same way see in your system you use a mail application or a facebook or instagram or whatsapp or any other application or in your mobile phone you have a load of applications so the communication is what from here to here or from here to say you want to go to another say whatsapp message to another phone so it has to go to a particular whatsapp server and then go there so from to right there should be always from and to the address simple common sense now <laughs> sorry so this is the diagram i showed you whether you have a private network or a public network address is common right now if you see here see we are trying to learn addresses for computer networks sorry for computer networks i told you human being does everything based on experience human being does everything based on experience see when they want to design an address for computer network when they look back see oldest addressing scheme is human beings right human network is there right 100 years before computers there is telephone network so obviously they would have taken inputs from here how the address should be if you want to design something you will take help from seniors that's what we understood right so if you see for example there is one mr ram is here in india imagine his friend raj went to us now ram wants to write a letter to raj let's say right let's say pre email days so now if he say he said to raj and from ram will this letter go to us no sir no sir because there is no address here raj is that just an identification see there may be one raj here one raj here the, the whole globe the postal department has to search where is that raj so you have to, address should const you know constitute where who and where right so to raj at us from ram at india so that means what happened the whole globe is divided into countries now where in us right let's say in us new york state where in new york let's say manhattan borough where in manhattan let's say fifth avenue where in fifth avenue 44th main where in 44th main some number 143 so now this entire thing is location of raj raj is just an identification that's how we address ourselves you and me if you have to go to my office mohan's where is mohan's some number rajar ke kormangla karnataka bangalore india we all have addresses like that whether this logic is correct or not to substantiate let's take telephone net imagine this is my office phone number 41104060 right you can note down if any anything required you can call this number 
I have a friend in Chennai whose phone number is let's say two four seven two eight four seven one. I have a friend in Delhi whose phone number is two three nine one seven one nine two. Sitting in this instrument, I am sitting at right four one one zero four zero six zero. If I dial two four seven two eight four seven one or two three nine one seven one nine two, will I be able to reach them? So I have to dial uh, this for Chennai, this for Delhi. Right? Are you understanding? Yes, sir. Right. The moment I dial 044, my local exchange knows, okay, from Bangalore, let me go to Chennai. Now, where in Chennai? Actually, this 2472 must be telling that, you know, that telecom switch, whatever it is, it is in some Kodambakam exchange. Right? Then this may be the instrument number. Delhi. In Delhi, Chanakipuri. In Chanakipuri, this may be the instrument number. See? Location and identification. If you see a BSNL number, actually you can tell which area. Private lines, you know, there's a little confusion there, but BSNL, you can actually tell which area the call is coming from. Location and identification. An address will have a location this part and an identification. The phone number will have STD code and a phone number. Or you can have ISD, STD phone number. Right? Location basically. Same way computer will have which network? Network ID they call it. And then in this network, which host? Host ID. An address will have two parts, location and identification. So in case of human beings, telephones, they borrowed the same concept, host ID and network ID. Isn't it a simple common sense? Very understand the logic? Yes. So first quality of an address is Network ID and host ID. Are you able to understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. So the next one, let's see this all of you. Can anybody tell me a phone number with a STD code of any place other than these cities what I've written here? If somebody wants to dial Bangalore, they have to put zero in zero. Something other than this, can you? Anybody? Any other place? Not. Nobody knows an STD code and a phone number? Zero eight zero. Zero eight zero, I already wrote, right? Something. Zero eight three five one. Zero? Zero eight three five one. Three five one. Two eight. Two eight. Double five, double three. Double five? Double three. Double three. Anybody else? Other you have to mute here. Yes. See, this class is recorded for some other people or anybody, who, you know. If this way, see, I don't record special classes. For anybody who wants to attend recorded sessions or something, I will take... Uh, good classes because every class is a new experience, new people. The entire last batch, I recorded all the classes and I record them <laughs> sorry, for a purpose also. Then it's all gone waste because of 
the noises from behind don't feel bad but your situations are your situations azad is the only one who answered it but for him i think it's unavoidable because somebody in the same room they're listening to tv or they're watching tv whatever but now this recording i can't play for anyone because the noises are you understanding a discussion between student and the teacher is good but if you can't avoid those noises i i, I request you to please be on mute so that is disturbance to everyone not only for recording purpose for other students also okay recording is okay it's secondary i have a lot of recording recorded classes that is not the issue but disturbance distraction and i'm surprised there are 14 people in the classroom including me at this point nobody knows an std code other than one person yeah 0 to 2 mumbai right a std code or a phone number or something right no anyway there is no point but this way you you know the participation if it is not there then it will be a problem for you only so okay i wrote some numbers right one person gave me a number do you find any similarity in this number and this these three numbers and the uh, this one right this is total number of digits will be same if i have given another two three numbers or any one of you it would have been easy if i write all, all the numbers then it won't be any fun if you had given me another couple of phone numbers with std code you can check anywhere in india it will be of same length right i can give you these examples for you to understand let's say for example somebody in delhi he wants to write a mail to his family in bangalore let's say he is working in delhi he wants to write a letter he writes the entire address to address in kannada he understands only kannada he know, he knows only kannada can a delhi postman read kannada you drop the kannada written letter in delhi post office can a delhi postman read kannada no sir do you think in every post office there will be a person who can read all languages not possible right not possible right so what they say that's why they say use pin code something like this so delhi postman doesn't need to read this you write anything you write a song here no problem he will read this oh five six means karnataka where in karnataka zero zero bangalore district post office so what about where in bangalore district nine five <laughs> let's say kormangala post office see this is is this not location and identification anywhere in this country pin code is of same length any country it will be like that same length same length location and identification same these are common qualities i am not talking about computer i am talking about common sense now this same length see here delhi bombay somebody said 020 022 what see whether whatever that if three digit std code that means it's a big city see here this std code that means this is a smaller town four digit std code means mid level delhi bombay chennai calcutta big cities three digit std code mysore gulbarga kollam thrissur vijayawada jhansi faridabad they will have four digit std some big cities have five digit std location and identification divided into different sizes the same length is divided based on a size 
based on the size of the network. Every network will not be of same size. There may be big networks. There may be smaller networks. There's a big network, there's a small network. See, entire IP address logic is known to you. Isn't it? Don't you know your address, pin code, phone number? Yes, sir. Right? A simple common sense if you learn it. Right? Okay. See, uh, I can't uh, no, keep on begging you to answer or begging you to participate. It's your choice because class will be unnecessarily disturbed. I keep on saying, please answer, please answer and all that. It's it's your choice now. You're all grown-ups. I can, I mean, I personally, I'm seeing the difference in your, you know, see, I'm, I'm training for last 25 years. Different generations, I've seen four or five generations now of people. Your generation, the so-called you know, Zen Z or whatever you call yourself. Your willingness to participate is pretty less in classroom at least. I don't know about the other outside. You might be very active, but uh, get lost attitude. <laughs> Chill or whatever you call yourself. Maybe my kids may be the same. I don't know. In their classrooms, how they're behaving. But I can't keep on asking you. Okay. So if I sing the song, you will not learn. Though I teach the same thing, if you interact, you learn. So that's my I mean, observation for so many years. Take your call. So these qualities, how they are implemented, these qualities, how they are implemented in IP address is what we are going to see now. First, I will take this quality, same length, right, divided into multiple sizes based on network ID and host ID. First, I'll take same length, see, it's a 32-bit number, binary number, right, 32 bits, zeros and ones, 32 zeros and ones, that is the length of an IP address at this point. Now, if somebody gives a number like this, okay. You close your eyes and can anybody repeat this number? No, sir. Right? No, sir. One cannot do it. Why? Because human beings cannot do it. If I ask <laughs> uh, any, uh, for example, uh, in last cricket match, how many runs Surikumar Yadav scored? Can anybody tell? Yes, yeah, sir. How much? <laughs> 31. Uh -huh. So, whatever that number is correct or not, it's not the issue. The issue here is we will remember whether that 31 or 26 or whatever that number is because human beings are comfortable with that number. Is it 31 or 26? Anybody? <laughs> I'm just checking my memory. I am. I must have read somewhere in the news. Okay. We remember decimal numbers because we are used to it. zeros and ones. Machine, machine remembers this, but humans can't. So for for our convenience, machine is our servant. We will give in our style. Machine will convert it. So for our comfort, what they did, first they divided this into four parts. See, the same thing, four parts. Each one is an octet, a byte, octa, eight. Four octets. Each octet is converted into decimal system. It's called a dotted decimal system. Because there will be a dot separated by a dot. Now, how this, every octet will be saying, Every octet will have a place value, place value, and the weightage. Weightage. Weightage is either it can be zero or one. It can be either all zeros and all ones. 
So zeros and ones combinations from all zeros to all ones, you'll have multiple common. How many? See, the place value, it's very simple actually. You don't need to remember. People, you know, sometimes they say, you know, we, we're not comfortable with math and all that. Those who do CCNA, right? You don't need to be comfortable with math technically. You all can count your money, right? Anybody counts money wrong? That's very interesting thing, isn't it? No, sir. Somebody who says, I don't know mathematics will count money very well. That's the beauty of money. So this can give you money. So think like money. Anything to the power of zero is how much? One. Right? So anything to the power of zero is one. Now you don't need to actually know this. Just double it. One plus one. Two plus two. Four plus four. Eight plus eight. Keep doubling it. You can double the numbers, right? Additions. Nothing but addition. Even if you don't know, 2 power 0 is 1, 2 power 1 is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So now here 8 numbers, right? This will be 2 power 8. So 2 power 7 is 128. Then 2 power 8 should be all zeros to all ones, 8 combinations. Yes. Double that. 56. So every octet will have a number ranging from 0 to 255. How? 256. But first one is all zeros. When you put a place value, place value multiplied by weightage. Place value multiplied by weightage. So 0 multiplied by something is 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. All zeros is 0. Now all zeros, the last one is 1. This is how the calculation goes. The 1 means this number. 1 means just take that number. Next one, the 1 means this number, 2. 1 and 1 means 1 plus 2. You don't need to add this. You have to add this. So last one will be 255 because 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 6. So it will be going on. 100 zero zero means 4. 100 zero zero 4 plus 1, 5. 110 means 4 plus 2, 6. The last one will be 250. All zeros to all ones. Every octet will have a number ranging between 0 to 255. 0 to 255. 0 to 255. Separate. That means an IP address will be like this. 7 dot, 100 dot, 2 dot, 99. Imagine. Four numbers ranging between 0 to 255 separated by a dot. That's an IP address. That's how it looks like. So what we are trying to establish, same length. IP address is a 32-bit number expressed in dotted decimal system. Any doubts? All well? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, nothing to do with this part because you are already there. Right? Do you know how to convert from decimal to binary, binary to decimal? If anybody doesn't know, you should know it. For example, If anybody doesn't know, you should know it. For example, let's say, tell me any number between 0 to 255. Let's convert it. 190. 190. So you want decimal uh, binary for 190. Start from this side. You don't need anything. Simple third class mathematics. 128. See, school days, you would have learned like this, something like this. If you know, okay, go ahead. If you don't know, so this 190, you minus this 128 from this. So first one is 1. 128, you are minusing. How much you are left with? If you don't know subtraction, then thank you very much. How much you are left with? 62. 62. 
So 64 is bigger than that. So leave it. So 32. So minus 32. How much you are left with? 30. Right? Minus yes. 16. How much you are left with? 14. Okay. Minus 8. How much you are left with? 6. Yes. Right? 4. Minus 4. How much you are left with? 2. Yes. 2. You get 0. That is 190. 190 is 128 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8. That's it. Either you add, you add, you subtract. You get the any number. Right? Isn't it easy? Yes, sir. That's all. Sure. <coughs> if it is hexadecimal, because hexadecimal also you should know, because I'm teaching you today IP version, sorry. I'm teaching you IP version 4. Version 6 also I'll teach in the coming classes, which will be a hexadecimal number. You should know that. Yesterday I told you MAC address is also a hexadecimal number, correct? MAC address yes, is a hexadecimal number. So you should know MAC address is 4 bits. 4 bits means what? One, two, four, eight. That's it. First one is all zeros. Zero. Zero, 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 one. One. Zero, zero, one, zero. So I'm writing everything so that you will, you can practice, right? Zero, zero, one, one is three. Zero, one, zero, zero, four. Zero, one, three, four plus one, five. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Up to nine, it is numbers. Right? Eight plus two, ten. Ten onwards, it is alpha A, B, C, D, E. All ones is F. See, just zero to fifteen. Every day, one number you. Practice, you will become an expert in 15 days. Is it difficult? Right? Just 1 to 4, right? This is how hexadecimal is. Now, nobody in this classroom should say that I don't know hexadecimal numbers. Clear? Right. So we established one quality, same length. Now that same length is divided into sizes, three sizes. They call them classes. Big networks. How do you decide a big network? More computers. So first eight bits represents network ID. That means small STD code. A big phone number. 24 bits represents host ID. First 16 bits represents network ID. Last 16 bits represents host ID. First 24 bits represents network ID. Last 8 bits represents host ID. Right? Are you understanding? Network ID, host ID. Small STD code, big phone number. Middle level STD code. In India also, you have different five sizes of STD codes are there. Three, four, five, four, not five sizes, four, I think. Three sizes, class A, class B, class. So if you see here now, right, what we discussed here, network ID, host ID, based on size, the same length. The same length we have seen 32 bits, divided into three sizes. Network ID, host ID, like this. Simple common sense. Clear? Yes, sir. Right? Yes, so, sir. what comes in class A? That means you have, say, let's say I wrote some number, right? 7.99.2.100 or something. That's what I wrote. Something like that. 
Okay, so I got 199. I swapped it, but that's okay. Right? I wrote something like this. Now, by looking at this number, first number, that means first octet. By looking at the first numbers, I should be able to tell is it A or B or C. You should be able to identify, right? So mm -hmm. by looking at first number, we can identify. How? See, first number, all zeros to all ones means 0 to 255. Now, if I give 0 to 255 to class A, so you should always practice the first one is 1, 2, 4, 8, 8, eight 32, 64, 120. Keep writing, keep writing so that you will be comfortable. Now, if I give all zeros to all to all, all ones to class A, that means imagine there are three people. You have 256 rupees. Your job is to divide that 256 rupees between three people. Your job is to divide 256 rupees. You have to give them. If you give the entire 256 rupees to the first person, what will you give it to second and third? Zero. Will they be happy? No. No, sir. Right? They'll kill you. So you have to divide. So for that reason, the first number. The first number. So this is all. First number is fixed as the leftmost bit. Not first number. The leftmost bit is fixed. The leftmost bit in binary, they call it most significant bit. Right side is least significant bits. Least significant, most significant. Or lowest order, highest order, they call it. Just a name. It is fixed as 0. That means in class A, 128 is 0. So this, 128 is 0. 128 is fixed. Observe this all. In class B, just for the same reason, they fixed 1 and 0. That means 128 is 1. Observe this, you will understand, very simple. 64 is 0. That is fixed. It will not change for class B. Class C, it is fixed as 110. So 128 is same, 64. 32 is 0. 128, 64, 32 is 0. What is this? So this is all. Now say this. What is the result of this? Here, all zeros. That is 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Okay, I'll put it in a different color. One second. Observe this. This is host, I mean, uh, this is red one is fixed bit. This is non fixed. 64, 32. Some sensitivity issues. 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. That is the calculation. 1 means you have to put that number. 0 means you can put 0. In binary, the only rule is. 0 means 0. 1 means you have to put that number. That's it. See, if you add this, what happens? This will become 0. This will become 127. If you add all of them, you don't need to add also. If you add continuously, all of them will be 1 less than this number. See, this is 128, right? 128 minus 1. So if you add up to 31, it will be 63. If you add up to 16, it will be 31. So bits will, you know, binary will behave like music. You will easily understand. Notes. See this? See this here? Next one. 64 is 0. 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. If I add this, 
See here 127. Now it starts with 128. This will be 191. Here 168421. 168421. That is the remaining numbers, right? This will be 192. Common sense, right? It stopped at 192. 128 plus 64 is 192. This will be 223. Right? So instead of 0 to 255, it will be 127. Here, it will be 128 to 191. It will be 192 to 22. It's only in the first octet. Second octet can be anything 0 to 255. This can be anything 0 to 255. This can be anything 0 to 255. This can be anything 0 to 255. That is not an issue. Only the first octet. Can you see that? Why they fixed it? If anybody asks you a question, why they fixed this number? Just to, if we don't fix this, everything will be finished here only. To give something to B, they fixed this zero. They fixed this zero so that they gave something to C. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, yes. even this zero and 127, zero is also resolved. For a special purpose, 127 also reserved for a special purpose. Zero is to represent any network. This is any network. This is to represent loop back. What is this things? I am not teaching you now. Okay, loop back they call it. I am not teaching you. Some other time. Today it's not, it's not relevant, so I am not discussing that. So one to one twenty six is class A. 128 to 191. 128 to 191 is class B. So that means see this 7 is class A because it is 1 to 126. Right? This is my host. This is my network. 128, 190 is B. See this? Let's say 150.0.10.100. 150 class B. Second one should be the same. second one can be anything, but up to this, it is my network. This is my host. So let's say 200 dot 100 dot 100 dot 100. 200, 192 to 223 is class C. 200. Remaining can be anything, but up to this, it is my network. So big STD code, small phone number. So small network, middle less network, big network. You understand now? I'll give you a couple of minutes. Go through it. Ask me if you have any doubts. Any doubts? <laughs> Sorry. Right. So I'm assuming you all understood. So what happened to rest of the numbers? We stopped at 2 to 3. So there are two more classes which we don't use here. Later you will understand. There is class D which is used for a special purpose called multicast. 
multicast 224 to 239. There is class E, which is 240 to 255. We don't use it at all. We will come across these multicast addresses, but this is research. We'll leave it for research purpose. You understand? They left it. We don't use them. So okay. we come across only class A, B, and C. Any doubts? No, sir. No, sir. So now, no, like, like seeing this segregation, uh, uh, like availability of IP address is more in class A uh, compared to class B and class C, right? The size of the network is big here. Number of networks, we'll see now. I'll just explain. Next point is that only. Next, we will see okay. number of networks. How many are possible in class A? How many are possible in class B? How many are possible in class C? And each network, how many computers? Each network. That we will see. So number of networks, class A means 1 to 1 to D6. See this. I'll put it in a table like this. With an example. Right? Number of networks. So class A, number of networks are 126 networks. 126. Why? 120, 1 to 126 means 126 only, right? Network 1, network 2, network 3, 126 networks. Only less number of networks. See, you have only 8 bits actually speaking. In that 8, 1 bit is gone, right? So 1 bit is gone means 2 power 7, that is 128. In the again, 0 to 127, but again, 128 networks. 0 and 127 also resolve. That is the reason you get 126 networks. Class B, 2 power 16, because 16 bits are there. In this 16 bits, 2 bits are gone. So here 2 power 8 minus 1. Here 2 power 16 minus 2. Here 2 power 24 minus 3. Because why minus these numbers? Because they are fixed. One bit is fixed here. You can't change it to 1. Two bits are fixed here. Three bits are fixed here. Is that fine? You know 2 power 16, how many you will get? Here you will get 2 power 14 means 16,384. 2 power 20 means 20 lakhs 97,152 or something like that. You don't need to remember them, but just. So how do you get this 16,000 in, in, in C? Again, that if you can see, I'll just write somewhere. See this all of you. Class, these numbers, right? These octets will behave like this. Say, for example, you have a three digit combination lock, right? So this is zero to nine. This is also zero to nine. This is also zero to nine. That means what zero, zero, one, zero, zero, two, it will go till zero, zero, nine, then zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, nine, zero, two, zero, like that, nine, 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 correct? Anybody has a doubt in this logic? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. So instead of 0 to 9, if you put 0 to 255, that is your octet. See, class B, for example, 128, it starts with 2 or network. This is host. Leave it. So this is first network. 128, 0. Then 128, 1. 128, 2. 128.3. So it goes till 128.255. Here it goes up to 9. Next number is 0. That is 129.0. 129.1. Like that, 129.255. Next number is 130.0. Like every time 0 to 255. Like that, 191.0 to 191.255 is total. This total number is 2 power 16 minus 2, that is 2 power 14. Why minus 2? We said 2 bits fixed. 
which is 16,384 numbers. So you should always follow this. Now, IP addresses will be always 0 to 225, 0 to 225, 0 to 225. Clear? So with that logic, you see here, 16,384. That is number of networks. Right? Number of hosts, 24 bits are there. That means, so this, this, this screen, can I wipe this? Whatever I've written here. You understood everything, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. I am wiping this because once I erase, I can't write again. I mean, I, I can't get it back right again. So now if you see, first combination is what? All zeros. This can be any number between 1 to 126, but this can be zeros, all zeros. All zeros is the first combination. Last combination is all ones. All ones. All ones. So, 0, 0, 0, 255, 255, 255. So, any address, any network, let's say network 5. 5.0.0 5 .0 is the first combination, 5.255255. So, how many bits are there? 24, 2 power 24. 2 power 24 is 177721. Another seven two one six seventeen lakhs one point seven no no one seventy six one second one more one second that number I suddenly it went out of my brain. To power 24. It will come just sometimes it's like the number, right? See this 2 power 24, but in this, the first combination, the first one, the first combination, the last combination is not used for computers. Right? So that will be minus 2. So earlier we did minus 2, minus 2. Here Zeros. we did to the power. The last one here to the base. All my host ID bits once. So this, are you understand? Here to the base. All zeros, all so because two addresses. See this? We don't use that. The For first computers. one. Here I took example as right. 10. This is generally any I number. Call it. it this is I took five. This represents so. network yeah. ID. If you want so to represent here, a network, all zeros. 10 dot zero dot zero. All my host ID. Five dot zero dot zero means five network. Hundred dot zero 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 means hundred network. Network ID. The last address is reserved for broadcast. What is broadcast? I'll explain a little later. Right? We don't use it. So this will be your first host ID. See, it will go up to 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 255. Then 10.0.1.0 like that. So total number will be 2 power 24 minus 2. Right? 16777216. 7, 7, That will be the number. Right? Here, see so this two octets. See so two octets. This 172.16 is common. Zero, zero. This is my network. This is my first host. This is my last. This is my... That means what? Well, again, pictorially, I'll explain so this. If I take a network, imagine this is my 10 network. I don't give this address to a system. I will start with 10.0.1, 10.0.0.2. Then imagine I have a system here, 10.0.0.25, 10.0.0.100, like that. Last one can be 10.255, 255, 254. Because 10.255, 255, 255, 
is broadcast. These two, we don't assign it to computers. Can you see that? Network ID. So this is my first host where all host ID bits, just for fun, I'm writing this. It's not like a definition. Are zeros except the last bit. That means what? LSB. If you see here, all zeros, if the last one won, that is first host ID. That is 5.0.0.1. First host ID. All ones, the last one zero, that is 5.255, 255, 254 is my, sorry, last host ID. Are you understanding? So, network, this is network, this is broadcast, first host, last host. In every network, you will have this. Right? All my host ID bits are ones except the LSB, last host. Here 65,536 minus here 167,77,268 minus 2. Here 256 minus 2, only one after it, right? You can see this. Network, first host, last host, broadcast. Only 254 systems in class. Class A. 126 networks. Now somebody asked, right? Class A has more scope. The number of networks are less, but each network has 16 million IP addresses. Class B, 16,000 networks. Class C, 2 lakhs, 20, or 21 lakhs, not 2 lakhs, uh, 21 lakhs, 20 lakhs or 21 lakhs. Sir. Networks, it's 97,000 almost. Each one has. So Delhi, Bombay, like cities are less, but more population, more phone numbers. It's a simple common sense, right? Any doubts in this? Go through it. Ask me if you have any doubts. Yes, sir. So number of networks division that part. Huh. So which one? All these three you don't understand? How many networks are possible? You see, class A, you have eight bits per network, right? So, so eight bits network means how many 256 would have been possible? But one bit is fixed. Hmm. Correct. So to the power 7, that is 128. That is 0 to 127. But we said 0 and 127 we don't use. Correct. Yeah. So minus 2. So 126 networks. Okay. Or you can see the simple number, right? 1 to 126. 126. Whereas class B, you have? 128 to 119. Uh, but that is in this object. Yeah. But total to 16 bits are there. This is also network only, right? Class. B. Yes. So in that two bits are fixed. So that will be two power 14. 14. Yeah. See this, I wrote it here, right? 128, correct. 128 to 191. But 128 to 191, this entire number of networks will be 2 power 16 minus 2. Okay. 16. Same way in class C. We have 24 bits mm. to power 24, but three bits are fixed. So minus three. Yeah? Yes. That's how it is. That's the logic. Number of networks, number of hosts. Any doubts?
Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. So now, those who are working, do you remember what IP address you have for your system? Anybody at your home or office, any IP address you are using? Generally, like one. 192. Or for local networks, like we use 172.16 series. Anybody else? It's 192.168 also. Ah. So generally, everywhere you see at your computer now, if you if you all go to your computer uh, where laptop or something, if you check now, right? You will use normally this IP address. See if I you know. We'll see when we go there practically for the labs and all that. So, but otherwise, why everybody uses this address? Right? I'll explain that. Why everybody use all of you must be using. If you want, you can actually check now. I I'll just one sec. You know, my computer, anybody can go there to your, you know, Windows computer, command prompt, you type CMD. Labs, when we do, if you don't know, I'll explain later, okay? So, so if you simply say in Windows machine, show me my IP configuration, it's like IP config. It will show me my IP configuration. So, if you see my IP configuration, my IP address is this. See this 192.168 something. Everybody uses this. Why, I'll tell you. Not say exactly the same thing. Similar numbers everybody uses. See, I told you, right, IP version 6, I'm going to teach you. See this? It's a hexadecimal number. So you can't say, I don't know hexadecimal numbers. In future, it's going to be hexadecimal. It is coming now. Right? See this 192.168. So why I'll tell you? I'm going to explain it. I, I, for To explain this, I'm going to use this diagram, okay? Because I'm using the diagram, don't uh, you know, try to design networks. Today is the first class. We are learning IP address. Design is not the important thing today. Today only number is important. Just because I need to explain, I'm taking an example of a diagram because I have to take that. See, now somewhere here, imagine there is, let's say, your Instagram.com. So sitting in this system, let's say one system, Let's say you have a system here, 10.0.0.10. You type www.instagram.com. When you type www.instagram.com, so computers communicate with IP address. Imagine IP address of Instagram is 10.25. Imagine. So now what happens now? There will be a destination IP address. The words we use in normally destination and source. That is basically to and from. Right? is 10.0.0.25 from is 10.0.10. Imagine this. Now, when it tries to go from 10.10 to 10.25, in my network also 10.25 is there? Yes, sir. So, instead of going to this one, it will go to my network, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that means your phone number and my phone number can't be same, isn't it? Yes, yes, sir. So who will give your phone number and my phone number as different numbers? You got a phone phone number, SIM card. Your number and my number are different. Who will take care of that? It's different. Your SIM provider, service provider. He will charge you for that, correct? Yes, sir. Same way IP address also. You have to buy it. IP address also, you have to buy the address. Imagine I have 5,000 systems. I have to buy 5,000 IP addresses. At some point, there will be a shortage also. See, see, observe this example. Have you ever stayed in a hotel? Yes, sir. Right. Imagine this hotel has 500 rooms. Hotel has 500 rooms. Each room, there is a telephone. Is the hotel guy paying 500 phone bills? No, sir. 
what he will do? He will buy one member or two members, whatever, less number. Here, he will use first floor 101, second floor 201, third floor 301 type numbers he will give. Have you observed that? If 101 yes, to if you dial, you will not pay any money. See, from this 201 number, you called somebody outside. For that, you have to dial 0 and you get dial tone and then dial it. So, in his caller identification, will he see 201 or this number? Even in your office also, it will be the same, right? Extension numbers. Yes, sir. You all know this concept, right? Anyone who doesn't know this? Office, hotel, college, hostel, everywhere. Yes, sir. Right? So this is basically what is, this is a concept used by telephones already. You don't pay 500 phone bills. You pay only one bill. Use the same number for all of them. So telephone guy is your elder brother. We are following him, right? Here also, I don't want to buy 500 IP addresses. I will buy only one IP address. But in, in, in here, what happens here? Portable exchange. All of them. You create a portable exchange. You give numbers. One, two, three, four, four. Any number you can give. Because you are creating an exchange. An IP address you can't create. So what they did is, this logic is okay to all of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what yes, sir. Is, yes. They reserved, they reserved some numbers, IP addresses for private purpose. They are called private IP addresses. You can't go to internet. On the internet, these numbers will not be there. Internet is public. This is private. So for private purpose, so whenever you go to internet, it has to be changed. That process is called network address translation. When I teach you, when I teach you how to connect to internet, I'll teach you that. Not today. Today I'm not teaching. Today only when I, what I'm teaching is IP address. What are private IP addresses? In class A, so this all of you, in class A, 10 network is private. That means this entire IP address is private. This 2 million IP addresses or I mean, 1.67 crores, 16 million IP addresses. They are all private, but one network. In class B, see this all of you, in class B, 172.16 is private, 17 is private, 18 is private, up to 31. 16 networks, 16, 17, 18, they're all private. That's why at your home office, everybody uses these addresses. In class C, 192, 168 is 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 255. See, I, I'm using 68 if you observe this, my IP address. See, 68. 192, 168, 68, anything, anything in this octet is free. So 256 networks, they're free actually. We don't pay any money for that. But you can't go to internet. If you want to go to internet, you have to do something extra. But you can set up a network for free with the free IPMs. That's why all your office, home, IP addresses are all Free. <coughs> Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So, if anybody asks you what is a private IP address, will you be able to explain? Very common question there. Okay. Now, 
and is reserved for internally to the organization for any purpose internal the organization at home also you use the same because basically they are free ip addresses you can't go to internet they are reserved for private purpose anybody can use for free now see if you for example this is your network let's say this 10.0.0.10 is your computer your friend is sitting in this is your office let's say 10.0.0.25 now your friend you know downloaded some ccna textbook he kept it in a folder he, he created a folder called ccna and he shared that he said he shared to the public anybody can access that right so now from this system if you want to access this folder which is publicly shared can anybody tell me what do you do on your system he shared it okay network is already there you don't need to do anything you are sitting here this network is there it is shared i'm not asking to create network give ip address and all that it's already there it's shared so in this system if you want to copy this file how do you do it anybody tell me in the run 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 command prompt i will type the ip address like 10.0.0.25 and i will i can access the shared uh, folder well, if the same thing if you have to explain it to a non computer educated person somebody who doesn't know about run prompt and computers and all that how do you explain how do you tell them to access so you should you are networking person right you should always think from a non technical pers perspective say a finance guy a marketing guy if he has a problem in the office how do you solve that how do you explain that right so you, because you are a technical person you, you know generally that is the impression right technical people they don't share anything they'll simply you know pose and all that so common man doesn't know all those things common man you can tell them you go to you know any system if you go to network my network places or network you will see all the shared things available right they don't know run prompt they don't know run prompt they go to any they simply a file explorer if they go they can see the network correct yes do they know ip address they don't know ip address say but for example imagine this is system 10 this is system 20 so the system 20 name will be displayed for them correct yes right so a common man accesses systems through name so you should always look at this for a common man for a technology person right for a common man for a technology person for a common man it's the name right from system 10 my screen became little over sensitive from system 10 to system 20 something like that but for a technology person there is a destination ip address 10.0.0.25 let's say source ip address 10.0.10 you remember yesterday i told you mac address is compulsory without mac address system won't allow yes right uh, so there will be a mac address destination mac address some 00 uh, 25 right 
some zero zero a b one two three four something like that source MAC address right zero zero one zero a b c d one two something you can't create it it will be there so actually behind the screens when the data is moving from here to here here to here between these two systems this is the detail this is the thing that is required what is required you need source ip address destination ip address source mac address destination mac address this is only for somebody who doesn't know actually this is how people access but this is what happens this is the background <laughs> So this is the behind the scenes. But I know my address, correct? Yes, I know my MAC address. Yes, but how do I know other guys' IP address and MAC address? Are you understanding? Now, if I have to ask anybody, let's say, Pooja, are you there in the class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, see, when I say Pooja, are you there in the class? I suddenly remembered her name. There's no <laughs> reason, okay? So yesterday's names, I tried to recollect some name because it's only first class. There's nothing, you know, don't, don't worry, Pooja. I just, so I was trying to recollect what name to recollect. Suddenly your name came. Because I saw your kids yesterday. <laughs> so when I say Pooja, are you there in the class? Everybody else is listening to me? Yes, sir. But who answered? Pooja. Pooja answered. Right? Sriya did not answer. Asha did not answer. Yes. Azar did not answer. Why? That's how human beings behave, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You want something. Yes, sir. Okay. I want, let's say, I want to know, Sriya, where are you uh, working? Or where are you? She, she said she's working somewhere. If I say, for example, I want, I forgot. I want to ask Sriya, where are you working? Right? Will anybody else answer that question? No, sir. Right? Human beings behave like that. But when I ask something, in a room, now we are in a virtual room. Everybody is listening to me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Systems will behave like that. So this guy will, you know, when, when, when somebody clicks on system 20, you know what he will say? Hey, who is system 20? Like I asked, Pooja, are you there in the classroom? Who is system 20? Can you tell me your IP address, please? It's like, Sriya, can you give me your IP, you know, phone number? So, you, what is that? Broadcast. That's okay. But in that broadcast, what address they will put? Source IP address, I know. 10.0.10. Destination IP address, I don't know. That is why this is reserved. 10.255. That means what? Everybody can take it. If it is 10.20, only 10.20 will take. If it is 10.25.25.25, every system will. So when I say, can I take any name or say something? But everybody is listening. But who answers is the right person. So everybody will take. But who answers is the right person. Question is, who is system 20? Now, Source IP address, source MAC address. I know my MAC address. Destination MAC address. Source MAC address, I know whatever my MAC address. What will be the destination MAC address? Right? So what is the this definition here? If you remember, all host ID bits are ones. All ones, two, five, two, five, two, five. Destination MAC address. F, 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 12 years. 4, 4, 4. 12 years. Because all 48 bits are ones. All ones is F, if you remember. Once upon a time, we learned it. Where? Here. 
All ones is F, right? Last number. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All Good. ones in host. All ones is broadcast here. See this? All ones is broadcast here. All 48 ones is broadcast there. So basically what happens is they'll send a broadcast. That means basically shouting, who is Shriya here? Who is Azar here? Who is Shaker here? Is that clear? Systems will broadcast. That is why last IP address is reserved. So question is what? What is your IP address? Imagine as uh, our friend said, I, I didn't notice his name. He said, go to run prompt. I think Sri Harsha, Sri something. I didn't notice it. Run prompt and type IP address, he said. That means what? He already knows the IP address, correct? So that's time what happens? I know the IP address. But I don't know the MAC address. So it says, if your IP address is, if your IP address is 10.25, can you tell me your MAC address. There is again another type. This is what is called address resolution protocol. You remember yesterday TCP IP stack? What protocols I give? TCP, I did not explain. I'll explain later. UDP, I did not explain. I'll explain later. Today I'm teaching you IP protocol. And you remember IRP? Yes. Ah, yesterday. A address resolution protocol. Reverse address resolution protocol, internet control messaging, and internet group management. Now, today we are learning these two. ARP is a broadcast which goes, which says, if your IP address is so and so, can you tell me your MAC address? Just for fun, I'll show you. For fun, I'll show you. Okay, don't even worry about. You, you are too early for this. You are learning IP address, okay? Just for fun, I am showing you that. See, if this fun should not confuse you. Remember that. Just for fun. Don't even bother. I mean, if you know, it's fine. Right? This guy... I'll capture a live packet for you. So I'll go to my system. You know my system is some 192 something. I'll try to reach some other system. Don't ask me how and what I'm doing at all. I just want to show you our, that's it, nothing else. Don't even bother about it. I'm just trying to reach one system. Okay. Now say this. What is it going on? Say this. My system is asking, where is it? Yeah. See this question here? There's something else is going on behind the screens. Don't worry. See this all of who has 192, 168, 68 dot? 200. 200. Tell me who is asking? Is See this? See this? F, 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 F. Address resolution protocol request. Can you see that? Yes, sir. See, this yes, sir. address. I'm using a HP laptop. You can see that, right? First eight bit, six, you know, for 24 bits represents Hewlett Packard. Can you see that? Yes. Yes. yes I explained, right? I captured a live packet for you. I am I, sitting on this system trying to access this 200. See, this 200. It is asking who is 200. It is shouting. See this? This is a broadcast packet. Protocol is address resolution protocol. Something else is also going on. This is from laptop. You know, they, they, behind this, so many things will happen. But what we want to see is this one, RFs. Address resolution. If that system is there, it would have responded. Do you understand it? Yes, sir. That's how systems communicate without broadcast. Simple logic, sir. 
if you are in this room when you are talking to this person this person this person when you are asking them hey other people also will listen when i said puja other person also will listen but they don't answer correct you are sitting on a dining table you want you are asking for a dish somebody say hey, can you pass on the dish to me without others listening secretly can you tell right so in a lan lan is for a normal person for you this is broadcast broadcast multi access broadcast multi access is multiple systems access each other through broadcast without broadcast communication will not happen either you have to find out ip address or you have to find out mac address you will not you have to find out right you will not have them in handy do you think you know you have 500 systems every systems mac address system will remember no sir ah huh, they don't know they will find out that is why lan is called broadcast multi access now imagine now sriya is where are you sriya in bangalore yes sir ah uh, puja is in uae can you shout and talk to puja from bangalore to uae no sir so now see imagine of course this is a different <laughs> diagram but somebody wants to talk to you you want to talk to your boyfriend or girlfriend or somebody in a different city right ah uh, this is van here there is no broadcast because remember this this your batch the example is shriya cannot shout and speak to puja right you should never forget that example yes sir right ha huh. the only way she can talk is point to point she has to dial and call uh, that this is called point to point network because it's long distance this point to this point no way you can broadcast it broadcast is only within the lan ah uh, your broadcast will never go out of your lan in this room if you are shouting or somebody who is outside the room should not respond they should not listen because it's human beings may be different but machine uh, broadcast will never go out so every time you have a doubt about broadcast remember for your batch example is shriya can only shout in her house or in her room talk to her people around not to ua yes sir that's how it works if you understand this simple simple these are all like human beings personify it feel it you want to try it try to learn like there is some computer science subject it won't stay with you it's simple common sense right every time a computer wants to communicate with other system it will send a broadcast that is why the whole concept what i am explaining you is Ah, uh, why the last IP address and last MAC address are reserved? Because they need to use them for that purpose of broadcasting. You know, I can't send. See, courier guy will not take if you don't put all the details. I can't simply leave these details empty. Every time I come, see these details have to be there. To and from addresses has to be there. do you think you know you will give a big courier you know uh, to the courier guy and say that i will not write from address will you take it no sir no uh, you'll send some mail to modi ji and then <laughs> from address you will not put you send a box what is there inside who knows if there is from address from phone number two address two phone number they'll take it
right? That is what is broadcasting all about. Go through this logic. Ask me if you have any doubts. Then I'll explain. Otherwise, we'll move on to a different topic. Uh, sir, so when this uh, source IP uh, uh, broadcasts the message and it's uh, so it is asking, say, suppose like, so we are getting in return uh, the destination MAC. Whatever we ask. <laughs> See this question, the two questions I wrote here. This is called ARP. ARP is asking for MAC address. What is your MAC address? Then you'll get MAC address as a reply. Whereas, if you're asking what is your IP address, you get that. So this is a different protocol. Okay. ARP is, you're asking for MAC address. If your IP address is so-and-so, that's what I showed you here, right? So you can see here. The question is? Who has this IP address? Uh, who has this IP address? Tell me. The, this is This system is asking. So obviously, tell me the MAC address it is asking. Right, address resolution protocol request. So this it will reply with them. Reply will come. Address resolution protocol reply. We'll see that when we go to the labs and all. Today I don't want to go beyond that. Okay. My purpose is only to express, show you this address. The reply will come as what is this MAC address? So the my system, my MAC address is so on so. Okay. Yeah. So for this we need to know the destination IP address, right? Huh. We need to know the IP address of the destination. Yes. This is this example where you know you already know the IP address, then you will get this. If you don't know the IP address, you are accessing through name, then first this has to go, then this has to. Go. Yeah. That's how it works. Everybody's okay with that. See, fundamentally, communication is two types. One is broadcast multi-access, other one is point to point. In point to point, no need of broadcast because only two points will communicate. Normally, in, in, in layman's terms, we call it LAN and WAN. So now today, you graduated into technology. See, LAN and WAN works for you also. But what happens behind the screen in LAN? Broadcast multi -axis. What happens behind the screen in WAN? Point to point communication. Maybe some variations will be there, but no broadcast because it is long distance. Why? You can't shout from Bangalore to UAE. It should be different. Clear? Yes, sir. That's how it works. Yes. Uh, now, how my system knows the broadcast address actually? For a system, for a system, system we generally don't understand, you know, uh, these ABCs and all, because we can manipulate them. For a system, IP address means a 32-bit single string. When you give an IP address to a system, let's say 10 dot, whatever this, you have to tell the system that this is your network portion. How do you tell it? by giving this. This is called subnet mask. Subnet mask is also a 32-bit number where all my network ID bits are ones, host ID bits are zeros. You mask it with ones basically. See this. I'll show you first and then I'll see this. My system is this IP address, right? 112. Now, what is the subnet mask given to this system? See this. So, am I see this? This that these twenty-four bits, am I masking or not? Right. Wherever this one is there, can you see that? You can see that, right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. 
right? Uh, this portion is the network post. This is how system knows. If you don't give this, system won't understand that, right? Subnet mask is a parameter which tells the system, hey, these eight bits are network. These 16 bits are network. These 24 bits are network. See, this is the mask which I'm using here in my. You can say system can take it to the ABC. Huh. Next week, when you learn how to manipulate this, then you will understand why it is important. The system cannot take it. You have to give it. So then what happens now? You masked this, this portion, correct? It will convert into, so 10 you masked. This you did not mask. So it will convert oh, into, it will do that logical generator. And gate so you can see, will be there, right? here you mask up to this. That means extended. Is, that means and R one seven two to sixteen. It is as you would have learned. You must up to that this, to fifty that operation, that and then it will convert into one ninety two one sixty eight one then two fifty. So subnet mask without the subnet mask, computer like cannot this. understand how many bits are network and how many bits are host host. Yeah. Is it clear? Yes. That's how it is. So now what I'll do is see everything we learned, I'll explain one. I mean, I'll 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 I kept it in this table. The screenshot will be given to you. That's not the issue. We will go through one by one, one more time. I'll just go through this. We started with, if you have any doubts, ask me now. We started with class A, B, and C. Right? Number of network ID bits 8, 16, 24. Correct? Yes, sir. Most ID bits 24, 16, 8. Eight. So, what is the range in the first octet 1 to 126? 128 to 191. 192 to 223. Right? If it is class D, 224 to 239. E, 240 to 255. So, that means 0 to 255. You should know. 0 is any network. 127 is look back. I did not explain you this. I will explain next. Some coming weeks I will explain. Not now. But we know 0 means any network. 120, 1 to 126 is A. 127 is look back. 128 to 191 B. 192 223 C. Right? D and E also. Any doubts in this? No, sir. So left no, sir. most significant bits fixed in the first octet. So for to get this 1 to 126, 0 is fixed here. 1 and 0 is fixed here. 1, 1, and 0 is fixed here. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Now, number of networks, 126 networks here. This is 2 power 16 minus 2 because 2 bits are fixed. This is 2 power 24 minus 3 because 3 bits are fixed. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This minus is to the power. Because too many minuses will come, you will get confused. Number of hosts, 2 power 24 minus 2. 2 power 16 minus 2. Why minus 2? Because all zeros is network ID. All ones is host ID. Host. Broadcast. broadcast. See? Simply you said some word. That is what happens. Excitement kills. <laughs> All ones in the host is broadcast. All host ID bits ones are broadcast. Is it clear? I'm not finding faults with you. I'm telling what type of mistakes you do. One word you change it, it will change the meaning there. I'm not here to find any faults with you. I'm here to transfer the knowledge. All zeros in the host ID is network all once in the host ID is the broadcast. 
Any doubts? No, sir. No, sir. Uh, same thing I wrote again here. That's why this minus 2. So this network ID. See, instead of X, what do you what is this X here? This is X, correct? 1 to 126. X is 128 to 191. This is X. Then what is Y and Z? Y and Z can be anything 0 to 255. See this? Network ID means all host ID bits. Again, I'm writing. All host ID bits are zeros. Five, see, 5.0.0.0. .0 like that. 200.0.0.0. See, Y and Z can be 0 also. Any example. You keep writing more examples, you learn it. First host ID. See this? All host, all zeros in the network ID, all host ID bits are zeros is network. All host ID bits are ones is broadcast. I already wrote it. First host ID says, all host ID bits are zeros except LSB. All host ID bits are ones except LSB series. All zeros one, that is 5.0.0.1. See, 9.255, 255, 254. If it is 9.255.255.255, that is broadcast. All host ID bits are ones. Can you see that? Yes, sir. Right? Example, instead of X, you put any number you want. Which number between these two? Instead of Y, anything 0 to 255. Is it clear? Just now I explained subnet mask. Subnet mask is what network ID bits are ones, host ID bits are zeros, eight bits, eight, eight, two, five, two, five, eight, eight, and eight. Any doubts? See? Private or reserved. It's also called non-routable. Why non-routable? You can't go to internet in this. Internet cannot route these IP addresses. Some test books can also say illegal IP addresses. Why? Because they are not legal on the internet. What are they? Class A. One network. 10. Here 16 networks. Here 256 network. See, some test books may write 10.0.0.12. 10.255, 255, 255. These are all private, it will say. It's the same thing, right? They wrote network. They wrote host also. See, it will be, I mean, for me, it looks weird if somebody writes 172.16.0.12, 172.16.0.12, .255, is private. This is correct only. But 16, 17, 8, all networks in, you don't need to write like that, right? This network to this network is private. So I like to write like this. Some test books may write like this. But you should understand what is private IP address. You know or you don't know? This is what we discussed. Anybody came across this IP address 169.254? No, sir. This is also a private IP address. It's called automatic private IP address. Say, for example, those who are working, you take your laptop to your office. Do you assign IP address to yours? Every day somebody comes and assigns IP address to your laptop? No, sir. No, sir. Are you at your home? Anybody is assigning IP address to your laptop or your mobile phone? No, sir. No, sir. But then how they are getting the IP address? In Dynam dynamically assigned. So how they are doing it is they use a protocol. All your systems automatically how they get an IP address, they use a protocol called, I'm not teaching it now, dynamic host configuration protocol. Dynamic host configuration protocol, DHCP they call it. You know what your system will do, your mobile phone, you went out, okay? You walked into your house. Immediately, your lap mobile phone is connecting to your Wi-Fi network. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So what yes, your sir. or when you walk into your office, your laptop is connecting to your office network? Yes, sir. 
you know what your laptop and mobile phone do as soon as they enter into the network they will shout hey who is the dhcp server can you give me an ip address Are you understand? Broadcast. They do what? Broadcast. Broadcast. That's a different type of broadcast. I'll explain it when we reach there. Next week, the next to next week. Like. But when when this broad broadcast concept you already understood, right? So when they shouted, DHCP sir will say, "Yeah, yeah, I am the guy. I'll give you the IP address. Take this IP address. I'll explain that also at some other time." See, everything cannot be learned the same day, right? Today we are learning IP address. So we are only learning about how it is, this IP address. What is your role? Sometimes, imagine your DHCP server is sleeping. Your system shouted, hey, who can give me IP address? DHCP guy is not responding. Who can give me an IP address? He is not responding. So after some time, your system has to do something, right? So what it will do is, okay, if you don't give, I'll take my own IP address. That is this IP address. If DHCP fails, if DHCP is not responding, your system will take automatic private IP address, which is 169.254. Automatic. You switch off your Wi-Fi network at home and see after some time your laptop will get this IP address. Is it clear? So this is also a private IP. See, today's class, entire class is this only, right? Any doubts? Sir, the, this uh, subnet, uh, subnet masking, subnet mask. So basically, once we configure uh, in the so and so ranges, so that will uh, it's like uh, uh, we are actually configuring whether it is under class A or class B or class C. So That's what that, I'm saying. It's huh. at this point, you know, only class A, class B, class C. You are telling your system these are the network ID bits. When you are giving an IP address, IP address cannot be given alone to the system. You should also give this part. How many bits are network ID? So today, whatever you learn, if it is class A, you are giving this. If it is class B, you are giving this. If it is class C, you are giving this. You are not telling the system it is class A address, class B address, class C address. No system doesn't want that. You are telling 8 bits are network, 16 bits are network, 24 bits are network. That's it. Clear. <coughs> Any other doubts? So, what's the time? Oh, 8.50. Good. So, I'll stop it here. 8.52, I think. Yeah. So, tomorrow, I'll teach you OSI reference model. Now, IP address, I'll come back only next Tuesday. That means today is Tuesday. Next to Tuesday, I'll come back to this table. So that means you have uh, one week time to learn this. Yes, sir. Right? You have 